This comes the same day as City of Austin officials look at buying out properties that were flooded out, but several properties not part of that map could get a county buyout. KXAN's Angie Bevan was at tonight's meeting in Southeast Austin where homeowners are learning about the process. Bernadette Stephan came to the meeting with concerns for her mom's house. She can tell you the Halloween floods tore apart much more than just bricks and mortar. She has a wall with everybody's uh, heights in it. And that's like a legendary wall that everybody's on it. She's not sure what's best for her mother. I can understand the buyout, but if everybody sells around her, is that going to influence her ability to sell later on down the line? County commissioners helped answer some questions at the meeting. They don't yet know where funding might come from or how many houses the county can buy. They helped people fill out buyout applications, which will get the process started. Jess Horton owns a storage business on Brant Road, one of the hardest hit areas. We've been seeking to already sell the land. We already had it up for sale. He knows no one is going to buy in that area. A county buyout is their answer. We know that there's nothing we can do. It keeps getting worse and worse every single time it floods out there. In southeast Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. The county will use the buyout applications to seek funding and apply for the grants. The commissioners will review everything and then determine the best options. Now, there is another scheduled meeting for tomorrow night, and we have details about that in this story at KXAN.com. Looking more now at why the city of Austin is doing this. The city's thought process behind this is for safety and overall cost effectiveness. This is due to FEMA floodplain maps originally drawn in the 1990s. The maps included the 25-year floodplain. An Army Corps of engineer study completed in 2006 found that a buyout was the most cost-effective solution. It pinpointed more than 480 properties. The city of Austin has purchased more than 320 homes in Onion Creek since 1999, and every year since, the city has tried to purchase around a dozen more homes. Right now, all the homes targeted are in the sections on this map. They're labeled four and five. There are about 115 homes the city is specifically targeting this time around.